there, welcome back. It's another tutorial Tuesday, which means it's time for another free balloon animal tutorial. I'm Holly Nicole George, the Twister sister, coach and mentor to new balloon artists here to teach you the art and craft of balloon twisting. So you can take your new skills, start a little balloon business and get paid to party. So this week we are doing a really fast Cinderella type style princess, okay? So we're going to be doing a blue dress, we've got the yellow hair, but you could do this princess in any different combination of colors to make her look however you want. A lot of thing I like to do is ask my customers when they come up and ask for a princess what color dress they want and what color hair they want her to have and that will kind of help me figure out which princess they are trying to go for. So this design takes four balloons but it is one that I do bust out in line work because it comes together pretty quickly. So you've got the color you're going to use for the dress with about a two inch tail and then we've got the um, skin tone color, whatever you're using for that. I've got just a white, which we're not gonna need much of this, so just blow it up a couple pumps. And then same thing on the yellow, which I'll be using for hair today. You can, of course, use any colors you want to make any princesses you want. And of course, I want to see what princesses you guys make this week. So share those photos on our Facebook group. We've got a post there. We can put all of your pictures in the same spot so we can all see what everybody else is doing. It's awesome and a lot of fun. Now, if you're new here, make sure that you are subscribed. I put out new videos every Tuesday, so you don't want to miss those. So pop that subscribe button and ring the bell and if you're brand new to balloons or you're trying to start or grow a balloon business check out the free resources that I have available for balloon twisters the links are down in the description below under my free resources for balloon artists I've got a couple of things there to, that you can download that will give you a bunch of tips and tricks and some practical things you can print out and use to help you in your business so check those out all right, we're gonna start off with the dress. I always start with the dress on these princesses. And what I'm gonna do, make it, I make this as simple as possible. So we're just gonna do a small bubble to start off with. And then we're gonna do another bubble, a nice full bubble. This is gonna be a pinch twist, okay? So just a round bubble here and then a pinch twist. We're gonna come down. This is gonna be like her stomach area. And then the dress is gonna be four or five bubbles, whatever you have enough balloon for. So I'm gonna come down about a hot, maybe a little bit less than a hot dog's length. Come back up, twist all that together here. And then we're gonna go back down again. Now you can do a roll through here where to lock this in, you would push it through the middle of these two balloons. If you're new and that terrifies you though, or if you have trouble with doing roll throughs, you don't have to. Since we're just going back up to the top, you can just come down with your bubble, go over those other two, kind of sandwich them in there and then twist this back up top. So you really don't have to like fully lock that in. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary. All right, now you can leave it here like this with four bubbles. Um, if you have some extra balloon left though, you could go for a uh, six. So it makes a nice fuller looking dress. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna come down, same thing again. I'm just gonna twist my balloon and then I'm just gonna pull it across and up the other side. So we're not trying to roll that through all those balloons because we're trying to decrease the risk of popping right <laughs> okay now we've got this little tail here left um sometimes depending on what i have left if i just have a little tiny bit of balloon left i'll just tuck that down inside the dress to hide it but since i've got a lot here then i'm gonna go ahead and let the air out and then we'll just hide the tail on, down into the dress Okay, so that is going to be our princess dress. It's nice and full and fluffy looking. And now we're gonna work on her head and her hair. So you take your skin tone color and I'm gonna be using yellow. And I tie both of these balloons together right off the bat. I 
And usually it works best if you just go ahead and cut off these tails so you don't have a bunch of knots in the hair trying to like mess things up for you. All right, we're gonna start with the hair. We're doing a small little bubble here and turn this into a pinch twist. And then on that same hair balloon, we're gonna just fold it over to make a little slight loop. It's gonna be like her bangs coming out over the front of her face, like that. And then we're gonna cover her head with her hair. So we're gonna bring both balloons together down about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. You don't want to make the faces too long. I see a lot of people that are new do really long faces um, and it doesn't look quite as good as it could. So try to keep this shorter and then once you've got them twisted together we're going to go back up with the hair balloon into the top. Twist that right on in there and then down the side one more time. So her back of her head is going to be covered and then you can see the face in the front here okay so that's what the hair is going to look like i'm going to cut off the rest of the hair we're not going to use it <laughs> you can just secure i like to secure this tail by actually bringing it back up around the pinch twist and then tucking it inside the back of the hair it kind of keeps it a little bit more secure and stable to me okay so then we're going to do just a small little bubble here for a neck. Again, don't make this too big. <laughs> it's just a neck. All right, and then we're gonna attach her neck to her dress here where our pinch twist is. So just wrap that in there. All right, so now we're gonna work on her arms. And so what I like to do is squeeze my balloon out, kind of thins it out just a little bit, and then Fold it over for an elbow and give her a little twist. And you don't want her arms to be too long. See how I'm doing that? All right, and then same thing again with the rest of your balloon. You're gonna fold it over and give it a squeeze for a little bit of an elbow. And then we're coming back up into the other side of that pinch twist. We're gonna wrap that into, usually I wrap it around this bubble in the back here. And then you can get rid of the rest of her skin tone colored balloon and for this one I'm using peach blush by Batalitex kind of a nice pinky skin tone color okay so you can have this and that would be fine as a princess you could be done and have this as a three balloon princess but I really like to step it up just a little bit by adding a white um, especially on this particular princess uh, it's nice to add the white so what I'm gonna do is take my white a little by the nozzle and then we're gonna wrap that around the pinch twist here in the front of her dress and we're gonna do a quick little loop on either side so just a little loop there I'm gonna take my white balloon underneath the pinch twist and get it so it's coming out over here on the other side of the dress and same thing we're going to squeeze it fold it over and twist off another little loop just like that so easy and so i mean that just adds a whole lot to this design and really i think completes the look so once you've got that done you can get rid of the rest of your white balloon and it's fun to experiment with different colors. You could do like a dark pink dress with light pink shoulders. It's really pretty like that. And then the only other hint, tip I wanna give you on these princesses, you might be done with this and you might have her arms looking something like this. Okay, please don't leave her like that. She doesn't like it. <laughs> what you need to do if your balloon is sort of looking like this is go at the top of her arms, open them up and pull them back underneath those shoulder bubbles so that it looks like her arms are coming out from the back and then they're coming out in the front here down where her hands are okay that looks way better so don't forget that step uh, it's very important okay it makes her look like she's standing up nice and straight and tall like princesses do okay so when somebody tells me they're a cinderella fan this is what i'll make for them it's definitely inspired by cinderella but don't sue me because it's not exactly cinderella 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna do just some really quick princess eyes. And my quick princess eyes are like that, kind of just curly lines. And then I add the eyelashes on top of those. Okay, and then I give her a little nose, which is just a little tiny line. And then I also, I used to never give my princesses or other people eyebrows, but I think eyebrows are important. So I always try to make sure to add eyebrows now too. I was just worried that I would mess up on the eyebrow and turn like a good looking balloon into like an angry face balloon and I was always afraid of that. But I've gotten pretty okay at drawing eyebrows now. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just grabbing a pink and we're gonna do some simple lips, which is kind of like, you make like an M and then you attach both sides of the M and fill in the middle. Okay, really simple. I don't go crazy on that. You could if you wanted to. It is cute if you grab a white paint pen and just put a little like a bit of white in her mouth for like some teeth. But I feel like whenever I do that, she ends up looking like she has a horse mouth. But <laughs> see, I'm not perfect yet, you guys. I'm still got stuff to work on. <laughs> So that is the artwork I do in a really fast situation for the princesses. Um, there's also some really cool sticker faces on the market where you can just stick on the whole face in one fail swoop and be done with it, hand it off to the next person. Now if you have any balloon sticks laying around, I always, almost always, uh, like to put my princesses on a stick. So I just pop that in the middle of their dress and stick it up so it just touches the top of that section and they're usually pretty secure on there and for some reason when people have a stick on their balloons they hold on to it a lot better they don't tend to drop them on the ground as much and that means that they won't pop right away as much so um, I love having these balloon sticks and handing out my princesses that way and the customers seem to really enjoy it too if you don't want to use balloon sticks you could get some I don't know wooden sticks biodegradable long straws I don't know there's lots of options out there so just experiment and see what works for you and what you like the best if you like this little princess let her know by giving this video a thumbs up and again if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure that you pop that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every week when we put out a new tutorial Tuesday I'll see you guys over in my next video until then have a great week and happy twisting bye everybody